content creator and international by way of Cleveland, Ohio, the problem child, Jay. from the IBF, pardon me, from the International Boxing Hall of Fame, presenting one of the most devastating heavyweight KO punchers of all times, the two-time heavyweight world champion, former undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. YouTube blogger Jake Paul defeated Ryan Berland by technical knockout in the first round. In the first round, Paul launched numerous attacks on his opponent. After another series of punches landed on Berland, the referee declared a technical knockout 27 seconds before the end of the opening round. The crowd already breaking into a Gallo chase. For the cock of the walk here in Puerto Rico, Jake Paul. First round knockout against Andre August, and this one he predicted a second round knockout. To the body by Jake is, is money. I like Landed the jab. clean. You already see that it's starting to red up. When I talked to Jake Paul before his last fight against Andre August, and I prepare you for a stage like this a good right hand to the Big body. Big body shot. Ryan felt Shots. that. Letting go of everything right now. We saw, so far, we've seen jabs. We've seen body work off against Andre August. But we're seeing it a lot here in round one. And Jake has already lost a feather. Feather is in the middle of the ring. Nice Ooh, right hand for Jake. Big Army bounce. He's wobbling. He's, Ryan scrambled. He's on jelly legs. He's active early, firing off that jab. Good Splitting boom. the guard of Borland. Yeah, good it's range good. creating offense with that jab and that check hook. Check hook is quick and it's powerful. Borland's been fighting since he was 13 years old. In fact, a Golden Gloves champion and fought the National Junior Olympic. Getting close. Yeah, man, if Ryan doesn't throw anything back. It's all set up with that jab and the body work. Referee's getting a real close look. Man, going to the body, finishing strong. Missing with it, and there's the right that lands. Borland right now looks dazed and Jake looking to end it right here and right now. Tyrell Biggs, October 16, 1987. Tyson dominated this fight. Yeah, Barry, and uh, Tyson interested. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Biggs, you have to say, he by the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start those some uppercuts. He took a big left hand nap and ready that a fighter like Biggs, in this case tonight, will go into a fight with a game plan and almost doing exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. The same eye, the same cut. And another big left hand, and Biggs is hurt. It's fight play. And there's a huge left hand. He, he takes a good fight in Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love that. These two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's... And he's never, there's the right hand that just caught big. Oh, that, that yeah. was a tremendous left hand. This is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. And what we've seen has happened so often in which a fighter after a few rounds starts to hang on to Tyson that we have to say it's Tyson's credit. He's the one who makes it happen. He makes it happen with his pressure and no matter what an opponent's plan is that plan disintegrates like a broken piece of crockery when it's faced with that kind of pressure caribe royale orlando orlando usa in the main event the american youtuber turned boxer jake paul 
knocked out fellow countryman Andre August in the opening round within the heavyweight limit. He's doing a nice high-low variety, coming over and get the momentum. You don't want them to keep getting off. Last fight, August was able to cut the distance and get in a lot. And this, uh, the fighter week was his footwork. It's something that he worked on in this camp, really dedicated. He told us that he's going to work on his punch oh, volume, up and down. Oh. He ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. Wow. 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 One punch was all it took from Jesse. Jake Paul is setting up an upper before I get the word cut out. Uh, overhand. It's the uppercut right that gets there. it done. His eyes roll to the back of his head. Jeff, he set up that shot with a, with a double jab. I mean, he's, he's the guy that has long arms and a long reach, but he also has a muscle. He waves goodbye to Andre as he is the irony guy. Frank Bruno, February 25th, 1989. In their first fight, Tyson won by a technical knockout in the fifth round after a series of powerful punches. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly as he attacks Bruno. Bruno continues to throw. Tyson was caught and wobbled. Frank Bruno about hanging on and hitting Mike Tyson. Well, all the questions about distractions have been answered as Tyson attacks. Bruno doing everything he can to try to have some room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lancer, big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. He hits him with a fight. It cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. TK. Tyrone Woodley, December 18th, 2021. In the rematch against former UFC welterweight champion Tyrone Woodley, Jake Paul won by a knockout in the sixth round. Woodley just doesn't seem comfortable in there. He took a right hand from Paul and the right hand of the body. Right hand from Woodley. Maybe the side of the back, Jake Paul up. Woodley now opening up on Paul. Put his elbows in and go to work. Work the body. Come on. A lot of outside in punches on, from. Nice combination from Paul. Left to the head, right to the body. It's a, it's a concern for sure, Barry. Could this be a, a wooden round? Go. Possibly, oh, right? Elbow. Okay, accidental elbow, okay. Uh, it was a headbutt. You know, I didn't see no elbow. Well, he was already cut up right there. Yeah, that was a nice one, two there. That was a solid. <laughs> Oh, headbutt. And there I was a headbutt. Head oh. head Jake Paul, because he's taller. Jake is forgetting about the no, jab. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Even stuff like that is mentally right messing up. Right? All those missed. Oh, there's a good oh. right hand. And that drops Woodley. And it. From Jake Paul. Lead hand. Right. And put. Boom. Just as good as it can be. Oh, oh. dropped his jab hand. Boom. Boom. Somebody came straight up over the, down the pipe and he turned it over him. Oh. Carl Williams, July 21st, 1989. Tyson knocked out Williams in the first round after a series of powerful punches. The decisive blow was a left hook. Any unnecessary punches, illegal punches, people are pounding him and blame that they have felt it as well. I should keep that right hand up and watch Tyson's left. And Williams corner are since 30 seconds against the Tyson onslaught. And referee Randy Newman says, uh uh, we're not going to start. This is so, sort of resilient here because both men, in fact, Williams here can suspect the fight Tyson inside. He hasn't done that tonight. I wonder if that's a change of plan. With the oh, what a left hook. It's cold in the first round. Is he going to count him out or let him go on? He's done with...
the reason people fear Mike Tyson because he's one of the few, if not the only man, that can us here. He wee bobs and wees, gets under that jab and counters with a beautiful left hook. Jab rather was working, and he felt very comfortable. The conversation between Randy Newman and.